Hey everyone, Shannon here, and today I'm going to show you how to clean up something that looks like this. It's all over the place, there's layers everywhere. Uh, you want to apply effects to all these at the same time, and you don't want to do it one by one. So here's how to organize your timeline with nested sequences. If you haven't yet, hit subscribe and you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Also, if you want to learn the basics of video editing with me personally, sign up for my course on Udemy. Link is in the description and get 20% off with the promo code. Okay, what is a nested sequence anyway? Well, it behaves like a regular sequence like we have here, but it's nested. So that means I can place whatever layers I want into it. And it creates what is like a grouped layer in Photoshop uh, where I can edit it separately. So the only difference between a regular sequence and a nested sequence is that in a regular sequence, you can change the aspect ratio and a bunch of other settings for your video. All right, so I want all of my graphics layers to be nested into a sequence called titles. So I'm going to select all of these graphics layers and you can right click and select nested sequence. Now you can see it created a layer. So I can move this around, I can cut it, I can add effects to it and my timeline is more organized and if I double click, my graphics layers are all correctly placed within that timeline still and can be manipulated separately as well. So using nested sequences organizes your timeline while you can still manipulate the layers separately and add any effects and transitions to the sequence as a whole. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Again, like, comment, hit subscribe. Thank you for all of your support and keep creating.